Well, welcome to Mick Webb TV. Uh, we're sitting here on the uh, shores of the Bow River here on Calgary on a beautiful long weekend, the Monday in May, and uh, people are cruising down the river in their in their in their boats, and it's been great weather all weekend. Hey, all sorts of troubles been going on here. So this is a bit of a sports show combined with my hunting animal show. First of all, oh, the legendary. Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter. We all know he got killed by a stingray recently. So um, this shows a bit of a tribute to the great Steve Irwin. Well, here in Calgary last week, all the stingrays are dead in the Calgary Zoo. Not sure why. They reckon uh, people might have been touching these stingrays. Lots of stingrays dead, Calgary Zoo. Also, up north, oh, a couple, a few hours up north, all the Americans want our oil, eh? What up in the oil sands? After the oil's been uh, dug out of the ground, there's this oil pond, eh? And all these, these 500 birds, these ducks, flew over the oil pond thinking it was water and they got stuck. Only five birds, only five ducks got recovered from 500 up there. Oh, the oil company's in trouble. Greenpeace is up there going crazy. I think even the, the, the Prime Minister, whatever you call them, of Canada came across and uh, went up there to sort that out. Five ducks saved out of 500. Like I said, Greenpeace going crazy. Peter's probably up there. That's uh, whatever, ethical treatment of animals. I think it's really uh, Pamela's, uh, Pamela's enormous tits association. I really think that's what it means. But uh, all sorts of trouble. In Australia, oh, there's kangaroos in Calgary. We'll be hunting some of them down later on this week. Killing kangaroos in Australia this week, about 400 I believe, just outside of Canberra. Pamela's probably going berserk about that as well. But here, as I said, I'm sitting on the edge of the Bow River. Oh, I better do some detective work here. If Dave Bronco, Dave Bronconio, the mayor, gets hold of this, Greenpeace, Peter, everyone could be down here. We've got a bit of a uh, disaster. Could be bird flu. We're not far from Seattle. The Seattle Seahawks, their wide receivers had bird flu a couple of years ago. Talk about dropsy, the passes. They couldn't catch a thing. They had bird flu. But we could have bird flu here in Calgary on the edge of the Bow River. Let's, let's check it out. And I'll try and use the knowledge that the legendary Steve Irwin gave us all in my little investigative report here on bird flu, possible bird flu, bird disease here in Calgary. So here we go, we found it, look at this. The dead bird. Have a look at that, flies. It was in the water yesterday, thought I'd come back. So there it is, the bird, I don't know what it is. Is it an Adelaide crow? No, it's not a crow, is it a raven? I don't think it's a raven, it's not a seagull. I don't know what it is, but it's not good sitting here on the edge of the river. It can infect the water, so let's get rid of it. Ah, it stinks too, eh? Flies and everything. Let's get rid of it. Let's bury it. There we go, I've dug, a, I've dug a nice big hole well away from the water. Let's now bury, bury the Seattle Seahawk bird flu, whatever it is, it's not good. So there we go, buried the bird. Buried it in a place that I will recognize in case they do have to dig it up to do some tests. But let's hope, let's hope this bird died from natural causes. Maybe it got shot, someone shot it, that's better than uh, possible bird flu, possible bird disease. Because I believe this is a very fresh, beautiful river, fresh water coming down. There shouldn't be problems. But with all the crazy stuff going on, the stingrays and the ducks up there up north, you never know. But now, 
the bird securely buried, no disease around, kids can't play with it and get possible disease, infections, whatever else. It's all good. Now hygiene. Your mum and dad always tell you to wash your hands. Well, it's important, especially after just uh, handling the bird. Luckily, I just went to the gym. I have some soap. There we go. A bit of uh, Adrian Lagan's Irish Spring soap. Wash the hands. It's all good. So you've enjoyed my little uh, TV show down here on the Boat River. Now, guess what else? There's kookaburras in Calgary. Kookaburra is this crazy Aussie bird. It sits in the trees and goes kook 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 kookaburra. Let's go hunt down some kookaburras here in Calgary.